And thanks. Happening now, while we keep an eye on those chilly temps, others in the upstate are paying close attention to, specifically farmers. Some areas prepping for a frost or that freezing weather. So we stopped over at Hunter Farms and easily to find out what they are doing to make sure crops are protected mm -hmm. overnight. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson live in our newsroom tonight with a look at how they keep those strawberries healthy in this unpredictable weather. And Jarvis, we got to say, those strawberries are delicious there from Hunter Farms. <laughs> Oh yeah, top tier strawberries, guys, we're talking about. Now, the owner was out working on the farm when I stopped by this evening. He says this year is the most work they've done ever to avoid having a lot of their crops ruined because of cold weather. Putting the row covers over, um, we're expecting a frost. Sunny days and chilly nights. Sometimes it can be a nuisance for farmers. We've used these row covers more than we've used them in 24 years this season. It's been a, it's been a hectic year. Eric Hunter owns Hunter Farms. He says if his strawberries and plants don't get covered up with temperatures dipping so low, it could be detrimental for his harvest season. The crop is more advanced than it is in recent years, um, which puts a lot at risk. With the season looking to be plentiful, I asked how much fruit are they seeing right now? Counting blooms and fruit, we've probably got 65 to 70% of the fruit already out here. Which means a large quantity of crops could be lost. The big issue would be the berries that are already ripe. Um, we've got green fruit and ripe fruit, and probably, we're probably looking at, I would say, you know, 20, 15 to 20,000 pounds probably of fruit that's on, the, that's on there right now. And it's not just for his farm, but for others around the country that he ships strawberry plants to. Normally, Eric is done with covering the plants and fruit around mid-April. He says the latest they've ever had to take frost preventative measures has been early May, but they're not expecting much of an issue. If it was getting much colder, I would be a lot more concerned. Now, Tori, I know that you love the strawberries today. They are definitely top tier. Now, while I was speaking with him earlier today, he told me this morning they did notice a little bit of frost on some of their crops, but nothing caused any major damage. They also posted on their Facebook page they're, they're going to open a little bit later tomorrow morning to give them time to get the strawberries and plants uncovered and also pick some berries. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.